We're live. This is a uh, last minute, kind of throw something together quick stream because all the red envelopes are popping up. Um, a ton of lanterns. I've been hoarding lanterns and I'd like to see what happens. Plus there's a bunch of market stuff I want to collect. It's Saturday night. There's not a lot going on. There's not a lot going on here right now, so I have the moment to do it. Figure we'll see what happens on a Saturday night. People starting to show up. Alien sushi. God damn, what the hell is this? God, that is a funky taste. Not quite sure about that. Oof. All right. Let's see. Oh, in, in other news, uh, uh, let's see. Ruben was in here the other day giving me a bunch of shit about not having uh, my logos, and, well, the, like the emotes and the badges set up. So I finally got off my ass and started setting stuff up, taking the stream and the scene a little bit farther. So emotes and badges have been uh, applied. They are sent out. I'm told it takes a couple of weeks to get them approved, so... As soon as they are, all of the uh, subscribers and stuff will have them in their mix. So, hello. We got a couple of people popping in. John Stopti, super fan. Alien Sushi. Isawa Munoz. Is that how you say it? Don't know. Nice. Okay. And Pavel, first time here. Welcome. I cannot tell what the hell this tastes like. Oh boy. I am not quite sure. Hey, thanks for the subscribe. Jax, nice. Is that the one that I know? Uh, all right. Oh boy. That's going to be a long beer. Does anyone know what that even says? Why hen stuff? Why hen stuffiner? Vitus? Weisenbach. What the fuck? Okay. Jax, it is the Jax that I know. Thank you. I'm on a fruity IPA. Yeah, this is not fruity. I have no idea. It's it's very it's got a lot of hops. It's a bit weedy with an aftertaste of cow piss. Not quite sure. Doesn't mean I ain't gonna drink it. Just not quite sure. Okay, so here's the deal. Let's say check this first. We're getting more people popping in here. Bunch of shit. Hey, there is a um, elite. An elite sold. That's interesting because I didn't think the elite market was moving right now. So let's see what we've got before I start jumping into the lanterns. 46,000, 46. This is all since the stream. What is today? Today's Saturday. That means this shit came in from yesterday. This is since the stream yesterday. This is what I've got. Let's see who else is popping in. Got some more faces in. Hello, Goop Gaming. And God Suplex, nice. Nice. Maybe we'll have to do a rematch before this is over. I think we tied yesterday. Tied in there. Where are my gems? They're all fucking gone. Um, but we'll get to that in a minute. That has, that's all from this trying to put lanterns together. Cause that's what I'm all about. Lanterns. <coughs> hey, there's another, there's two more. Two more elites. That's impressive. Anytime you got elite zone, that's old. Damn, that's... Hey! 
Bavarian, nice. German beer, eight, well, 730,000 coins. I'll take it, 21,000. This is just from last night's fishing. This was a good night. All these 10,000 coin ones, those are the ones I didn't catch. Is that it? No, wait, there was a Christy way out there. I have a feeling it was a static Christy. Because I only had one, and I put it on a 400,000 coin 24 hour cycle. Scroll, 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 scroll. There it is. Static. I probably could have got more than 400 out of that. Anyway, these are 80,000k coins that we're picking up for that much. FIFA Ruben, how we doing? You sold Hain, but for 200k. 800k for a 91 rated car. Brant, is that the the base Brant? E Texer, thanks for the follow. Let's see what's popping up. Say 80 or 81. There's an 82. That's the only one I've got. Cheap. Unless you're talking about the 91. I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Let's get into this. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, the 91. You're seeing the 91 that cheap? Holy shit. Not my market. See, I don't think anything's even going to pop up for under 800,000. Yeah, I can't even get anything to pop up that cheap. All right. Where are we at? One season one. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Where am I at? I lost my train of thought. God damn, this stuff is like... It's like toilet cleaner. That's what happens when someone hands you some beer and says, Hey, here you go. Try this out. Let me know what you think. No. Not good. Alright, let's do red envelopes first. I got 40. I've been holding it. Waiting for a day like today when there's three... Great things, great things coming in. You can't drink beer. You can't or you won't drink beer. There's a big difference. Informed player, nice to see you popping in. Okay, so anybody got any ideas where I should go? Normally when I do this, I'll start in the four corners and start working my way in just because it's kind of a thing so let's see 17 bottom left 24 that oh shit that's not 24 oh well something sold we'll check it in a minute nothing yet three We got 18. And then someone said top right. Ain't getting shit yet. This isn't good. Second row. Last second. Well, see, I know there's eight in each row, right? What is it? Eight in each row. So eight, 16. So 17 bottom left corner. Bottom row, sixth. I haven't found anything. Was it second row third? This isn't going well. I've got the I've got the red envelopes. I'm not that worried. Twenty-three. Oh shit. <laughs> One. How far can we go? I think you if you can get twenty-one bad before you get something, you should get something special. 
Uh, middle number six. Nothing. <laughs> so what do we got? 19. Nothing. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I'm not worried. I've got the. I've got enough red envelopes to do it. Four. God, this is sad. <laughs> Nothing. How many can we go? Uh, 21. Wait, I already did 21. We'll do 20. That's the entire bottom row. There. Five <laughs> lantern points. <laughs> Jesus, this is bad. Number two in the middle. Nope. Ten. I already got, I already did ten. Eleven. I already did eleven. Seven. Nothing. Dude, this way is it. Thirteen. Robot voice. God damn. Is that better? Is the mic back? Are we good? No mic? Better. Okay. Fucking mic. Okay. What do we got now? Number six. Okay, how many do we have left? One, two, three, four. We have five left. And we know it's in two of them. Sixteen. Four left. 50 50 odds here. Uh, seven, we already did seven. 16, we already did uh, two. What the fuck? We got two left. One, two, three available. This is the worst luck I've ever seen on this. It's your fault. I'm only picking what you guys are telling me to pick. We got number two. Two's done. Nine. There we go. Finally. Fuck. Okay, so... 50-50 odds. We're gonna go with five. And we'll see. There we go. Well, I did it in 23. Jesus, that was terrible. 23 to get all three. But... When you have red envelopes and you've got all three that are important popping up, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, still got enough time. And we'll get red envelopes back. I, I, there's been days where I haven't picked anything. Because there's no real point to it. I mean, the, the the red envelope rewards haven't been that... Haven't been that great overall. So I'll hold it. But the price of the envelopes are only... 1250 for five so if you get into a bind if you got 19 and you go for it so i've already got 17 i still get some extra bonus for completing this out and before tomorrow so if it came down to it i should have enough for 1250 for tomorrow so we'll see 150th worldwide in head-to-head -head. jesus at least i don't feel so bad uh, uh, for you like i said taking me out to the woodshed and beating the hell out of me yesterday okay nothing in the Lucky Shop, that brand is got to be cheap, which is what we were talking about. Yeah, six to nothing. That was terrible. What would I do if Liverpool choked the lead? I've been there. It wouldn't be the first time. I've been there. I've I've experienced that. It was a very sad, sad, sad week. Got Ronaldo in the lantern pack. Damn. That would be nice. Okay, so let's see what we got in Lanterns. Let's see how many we're dealing with. 26. This will be fun. So 13, and it means I'm going to probably, let's say I guess, I'm going to guess I get to open 19. That's the guess. Let's see how close we are. 19 is what I'm calling. Here goes number one. Red envelopes. See, they're gonna. We're gonna start seeing red envelopes. Okay, so now we got another one. So now we're at 14. We get at least 14 packs. I'm saying 19. Okay, 
You're calling 20. I'm saying 19. 15. Well, I'm at 14 now, so you only think I'm going to get one more before all these? Okay, we got one more. Lunar points. I get a shit ton of lunar points in these. Which is fine. It's going gonna, it's gonna to translate to boost, but damn. I'll take the lucky coins. Okay, so now we're at 15 packs. That another lunar point gives me 15 packs. And if I get enough lucky... Oh, no, wait. The lucky coins are done. Oh, 15 and a half. Sixteen. We're at sixteen packs already and more lunar points. Okay, someone said, what do you think about Ox playing left wing? I'm just going to put this out here right now because I haven't said anything. And, like, Jax is, is in here, but he hasn't seen me in league chat today. I've been doing a low profile thing. So, please, please don't tell me what happened in the game today. And there's a reason for it. I'll tell you in a minute. There's another landing point. We're at 15 and a half now. Yeah, don't say anything about today's game. I'll tell you why here in a minute. 15 and a half. Zodiac points, that's good. 16. We're at 16 packs. I said 19. We're getting there. 16 packs. I still have 10 to open. Lucky coins, I'll take it. 16 and a half packs. Lunar New Year is awesome. I am focused all on lanterns. Lanterns and then Zodiac. Which is translating to a ton of boost. Fabian and Kalini in five packs. Ooh, I think the best I've had is Fabian. As far as uh, lanterns go. Where am I at? 16? I'm at 16. Sixteen and a half packs. More lunar points. I'm fine with that. I am definitely not that lucky. If you saw me take 23 red envelopes to find the three matches. Yeah, these lantern packs are awesome. Ronaldo. I'll take it. Hell yes. Hell yes. So nice. That deserves a drink. Damn. What's he going for? Is, is anybody know his value right now? Eleven point five million. I'll hold on to him because I think he's gonna be worth more. Seventeen. We're at seventeen. And another I had not. I either got stuff dismissed, timing out, or stuff selling. So I'll have to check that in a minute. I'll take the lucky coins. And another lantern pack. 17 and a half. Red envelopes. 18. We're at 18 packs now. I'll take it. Anytime boost pops up, I'm happy. 18 and a half packs. I called 19. I might be low at this point. Might be low. Eighteen and a half. Did I say eighteen and a half already? Anywhere. I'm close. Eighteen and a half. We'll just say eighteen and a half. Fifty-five plus, but got only one Lunar New Year player. Whoo! Now we're at nineteen. Nineteen. 
I think. Maybe 18 and a half or 19 and a half. Somewhere in there. Okay, I think I'm at 19 and a half. I've had the best luck with these lantern packs. I mean, I mean, really, the worst thing you're going to get is red envelopes. Another lantern point. And I've had so many uh, lunar points that I am way down the line in lunar points. I've already started, I've already went all the way down. Grap. There you go. I'm at 20. I'm at least at 20. Maybe 21. I don't know. I lost track. Lunar points. That's a ton of lunar points. I'm up to 400 lunar points just since we started this. Okay. Two more packs to open. Between 20 and 21. I don't remember. I lost track. It's so many lunar packs. Lantern packs. More lucky coins. I'll take it. And another lantern point. Uh-oh. This might be the last one. I'm at 21. If I get another lantern point, that gives me 22. That would that's I'm already above what I expected. Yes. Yes. 22. 22 lanterns. So nice. I've only gotten two players this time, but one of them was Ronaldo. And a lantern point in the bank. Damn, that was worth it. I gotta check and see if stuff is selling or stuff is finally dismissing before we move any further. I was so busy yesterday, I got off my uh, time frame. Uh, I'm just trying to get rid of my old silvers that's what it is giving away the lower level silver so i can buy more elites so these aren't souls these are just dismisses coming out all right very happy with that let's just see what suggested is popping up for ronaldo not that i'm gonna do it 8.2 suggested yeah i'm definitely holding on to him his value will go up after this event is over i'm so i'm so I'm so sure of that one. There's no way I'm going to sell it. Same way with Jarstein. What is it? 68,000 for an 88 rated goalkeeper? No. When should you sell elites? Um, I am fishing my elites right now. 200,000. Yeah, see this stuff is just, it's just timing out. It's just elites for, or 69s from earlier today. I'm fishing my elites. I got to get to them. 200,000, 400,000 on a 24 hour cycle is where I'm fishing right now. Too many cards. This is just the dismissed stuff. Oh, wait, I never claimed that, Christy. Oh, shit. That's a, uh, that's a new one. Damn. Hell yes. How did I just happen to catch that? We'll list three and see if any sell. Did something else go? So what was the question? When should you sell elites? Maybe right now. Briss, is that or that one I can I have? No. And those Christie cards, I'm grabbing those right now. Why is the market so trash? It's not right now. I mean, you, you just have to find where the bot is buying. And there's spikes in throughout. It's the way uh, the market works. Because you're not really selling to players. You're selling to the bot. The bot works on a queue. The queue puts players in. The players... Uh, it The suggested price is based on what all three global markets are doing. And what is available for the queue if the bot is got a set baseline for it's pulling in players and it's buying them for 50,000 coins every five minutes i mean nobody knows what the exact 
Q price is, but let's say a specific elite is on a five minute cycle at 50,000 coins. At the end of five minutes, if there's no 50,000 coin player available, the bot will step it up until it finds one at the lowest price to put in there into the market at that on the five minute cycle. If you can find a card that beats that Q and start stepping out where no one else has the card listed for the bot in your market, you can grab stuff at that value. Then that resets the value of that card until it recycles and people start posting that card and then it brings the value back down. So if you can find those spikes while you're fishing, that's when you can make an ass load of money. That's how I make all my money. It's just fishing the bot. Is it dirty? Yeah, it's dirty, but it doesn't matter. It's what it is. So let's find... You just got to remember it's not a real market. It's not a real market. So what players would I recommend selling now? I Just look, I'm listing everybody. There's 68s, 69s are in there. 69s are what's timing out right now. 62s. So here's, okay, here's my elites. Now, I've got like Fabian listed at $7 million. Just It's a fishing price. I don't think he's going to sell. Ter Stegen's not going to sell at $5 million. I'm just making room in... This is just stuff I'm sending out into the parking lot. Urzel, Jarstein. So now you get into my normal fishing rate right now for elites is 200000 starting price, which means I know I'm doubling my money. I don't ever buy anything or sell anything unless I'm getting at least twice what I paid for it. So and I know I will only buy elites at one hundred k or less. So you wait 200000 for a tall because I... He's not worth more than 100000 And I'm fishing him at 400000 All the way across the market. This, And you notice it's everyone is a different player. So they just go through. And this is what I've got in stock. These are my stock elites. So, like, let's say Oscar. I threw two on. Now, if I've got two there, that means i probably got at least eight to ten of them in reserve waiting to sell. So... These are all 200,000. Then when you see one get bit by the, we're fishing. We're using fishing metaphors. Is ultimate team of the seven, team of the year CR7 end game? Maybe. If, I mean, it's kind of a loaded question. Because if you look at it this way and say, is he one of your favorite players? Will you use it? Will you use him for the full season? Then, yeah, he's endgame. It's possible that my base Shachiri, my base Shakiri, if you prefer that, is maybe in my squad till the end of the season. That doesn't mean there'll be better play there won't be better players than him. But I've got him in there for a reason. Another Christie sold. So that's two Christie's. Oh shit, they're all selling. Let's see if his value went up. So, should you be selling elites right now? N not really, but you should be fishing with them. Pick a value that you would be happy to get rid of him at. Oh, he's up to 533,000. So we're going to sell one. Just one. We'll wait about five minutes. And if he doesn't sell, we'll throw another one in. But I don't want to put another one in at 533 because I can see that the market is grabbing him up. So the value is going up. It doesn't look like anybody else in my market is posting him. If you happen to be on here watching this stream and you have Christie's, check it. Check it right now. See if his value's up. Because that's an, I mean, that's an 80K card. See what his value is. Don't list too many, though. But list one at 533 if he's popping up that for you. And we'll just see what happens. I might be able to come away with the end of this stream about four or five million coins. But as far as the Lunar New Year stuff, I'm not selling any of that right now. See, he jumped up to 574. So he's going up. I don't wanna I don't wanna jump the gun. So we'll wait. Hold on the match request real quick. I wanna see what I can do with. So the Lucky Shop, I could get Brant, but I'm not going to waste the coins on Brant. I want those Lucky Coins for Lanterns. See? 
don't sell your lunar players now. Don't sell them unless you're going to list them for a value that's way, way high. Don't don't dump them now. They'll Their value will go up eventually. It may take a long time, but if you hold on to those lunar players for a shit ton of time, like let's say March, they'll be worth a lot more. Should I buy Christy now and hope he rises in my market? I wouldn't, unless you can get him for 80K. But then it might not be today. It might be a month from now. But I always buy elites. I don't care who it is. In fact, I've got $4 million before the end of this. Uh, we'll spend all that $4 million. I'll buy. I'll spend every penny before I, I get off the live stream tonight. Just buying more cards to sell. Uh, where were we at? Oh, I want to see if he's going to... If anybody else sold or if these are all dismissed. The one part about dealing with the market the way I do, though, is you do end up with six, seven hundred dismissed at a time. Okay, I wanted to check this first. Damn, not enough for another player in Zodiac. But I do have a ton of red envelopes. Okay, so here's, you look, those lunar points, this is where I was talking about in the original video I posted that Ronaldo was free to play if you focused on red lan if you focused on the lanterns and what did we do in just that run that lantern run and none of those lanterns none of those lanterns were bought with uh coins or uh were bought with fifa points that's all those were just straight up using the red envelopes and the stuff that we had there oh pal 415 thanks for the uh subscription Anderbatic, he stopped in. Nice. How's it going? I actually went in to you today to try to add you in as a friend uh, to put you in with my lot. I've got uh, Ruben and um, Stopty in there, but I didn't see you pop up. So hold on. I'll clear one out if I'm full. Send me a friend request. And I'll get you in the mix because I'd like to start playing you. Okay. If I were to cash in all of my cards now, how much would you have? That is an interesting question. I probably, if I had to guess, maybe at the current market value, I'd say I have maybe $50 million Because I already spent... I sold enough to buy... Ultimate Allison and Ultimate Van Dyke. So I've spent 115 million. I spent 115 million in the last week. So I think at that point I I had about 200 million in coins or 200 million in players. Now I'm down to maybe 60 million at the most. That's the most I have. But that's their value. That's not what I've paid for them. I don't pay for anything. Two million coins, nothing invested. Should I invest in elites? You should probably okay. If I had, if I had two million coins and I had nothing in the bank, uh, I would spend half of it on elites at eighty thousand or less, and I would spend the other half of it, one million, and I would buy sixty-nine rated silvers. I don't know why people still don't agree with me or believe I've sh I can show you on a daily basis. I can bring in eight, 10 million coins in a week just with 69 rated elites. That's it. Uh, how did I run through lunar new year so fast? Uh, well, what did we do? We just grabbed 400 and some lunar tokens today. And this is like the third time, uh, I've done this. Did the mic go out? I'm good, right? I got sound. Let's see. Lantern packs. Yeah, lantern packs is fine. And that's what I'm doing. Lantern packs is everything. I focus 100% on the lantern packs. That's where everything is coming from. Uh, I haven't tried to claim a player. I haven't tried to claim anything. Um, I, di I did. I said this in the very first video. I did buy the dollar packs. What was it? Total 17 bucks when the event started. 
I bought all those dollar packs. That's it. Um, and I will do that. When events start, if they release something that's like $2 or four ninety nine, and it gives me a jump in the event, I will buy that. I don't buy FIFA points. I don't ever spend money there. But I, I'm not above spending 5 10 bucks when an event starts. So that's what I did. Let's see. 69 rated elites. Yeah, that's where it's all at. I'll show you guys before it ends. So we got 435. Where am I at? I think it's 200 for this one. But can I jump ahead? 250. 300. 550. So we'll grab this one. 600 boost just to see. Uh-oh, somebody sold. Please be Christy. Please be Christy. How did I get so many envelopes? I haven't used the envelopes. I only use the envelopes when... Uh, did I say 69 rated elites? 69 rated cards. See, I saw that and I thought it was a... Uh, um, somebody's playing a drinking game. Every time I say 69 rated, someone's drinking. I like saying 69 rated. I think there's a reason that the, the most coins come from the 69 rated silvers. Silvers, not elites. How did I get so many red envelopes? From playing the event uh, and lanterns. That's where they're all coming from. Let's see, where was I doing? Completely lost my train of thought. Oh, I was going to look and see if the... Jesus, it's Saturday night. It's 9.30 here, and I'm already kind of losing it. Oh, I'm so close on shop power. I would actually buy that one. When am I going to get Robertson? Uh, I'm probably not going to get Robertson. And the reason being is I love Milner. I don't love him at left back, but I love him enough to not put, to not put uh, Milner in. Will you sell Mane Team of the Year and buy his Ultimate Team of the Year version even for investing? How much is his Ultimate Team of the Year? I haven't looked. I'm assuming it's probably $40 million. I don't want Neuer. 40, 23 million? Really? How is he compared to the standard? Has anybody seen him? I haven't even played against him. Christy sold. That's, Jesus. That's what I was doing. I was trying to see what the hell. Holy shit, this is going to be a short stream. Or I'm going to pass out on here. He sold. Well, let's sell another one. There he is. Let's see. That one was at 533. 576. There we go. Damn. A lot of trouble from Mane Ultimate. Hmm. That might be... That might be worth actually uh, doing. But again, right now I'm just buying. Today's all about buying. All right, I got I got a few match requests. We'll play a match. Where am I at? We'll play a match. It's a drunk match. As you can see, I'm having trouble even finding the matches. Okay, we'll start at the top. Nope. Nope, sorry. Nope. You can send me new ones. Okay, we got one. We got one. Test Ronaldo. Uh, I could do that. Hold on. I'll send it. I'll play another one and we'll put Ronaldo in. Will La Liga rivals Messi rise? Eventually, maybe. But it's going to come down to whether or not they... Uh, more get released in that range on the market. What was what was uh, his La Liga rivals card? Was it a right wing? 
Uh, Lion Mobile YT. Yes, you can play me. Just make sure you send me. Uh, oh, he was a striker. Then yeah, hills will go up. That value will go up because it's 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 a striker card. In draw, um, Mbappe lowered his value. Eventually, though, like a month from now, when the market starts to stale out, when did I lose connection? That all happened. Was that me? Got Wi-Fi. Damn, he lost connection. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Am I playing against the bot? I'm playing against the bot. All right, we'll let the bot play, and we'll talk. We'll talk while drink. I'll drink. I don't like playing against Mbappe. He's, that's a tough card. Check the red. Yeah, there's red. I can see it. Okay. Mane's good. Do I have any idea when the next UCL starts? I don't know. Uh, you friended me? Okay, I'll accept it here in a minute. Um, best striker. There's there's a certain point of people. There's when you've got a card like that. Ooh, Shatiri Discord. When you've got a card like that, um, Messi at a striker position, which is out of the ordinary. They tend to bounce back in value and go up as other cards get released with that name that is not on that position. So if another team of the week comes out and it's messy at right wing, then his striker will see a bump in price. Because people are looking in the market like, well, I don't want that. I'll move it over there. Who's the best Premier League striker? Who? Who? He's already up three mil since the end of team of the year. Maybe I should sell CR7 for team of the year Mbappe. That's, I don't, okay. The problem for me is I don't play based on which card is the strongest, which card is the best. I play based on who do I like in real life. So I, you know, I would never put Ronaldo in. I would never use him. Um, I've got a full Liverpool squad for a reason. I should put Salah and Fabinho in your team. I I like Shakiri. I just like that card. I like him as a player. Everything about him, he plays the way I like to coach. I just can't take him off the squad. Now, I like Fabinho, but I prefer an attacking base team rather than a defending base team and with him being a center defensive mid that's why you don't see him and you don't see Henderson in my squad I just don't use center defensive mids I mean I prefer a, a 4-3-3 attacking if they would ever release a squad that um, uh, losing 6 nothing. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. ha ha <laughs> um, that's the problem see I don't if they would ever release a 4-3-3 a traditional 4-3-3 formation with a center defensive mid a center attacking mid and a center mid so that you have a 6 you have a 10 and you have an 8 if they ever release that I would use it I would use it hands down I would put in a center mid, I'd put in a center attacking mid, I'd put in a center defensive mid, but I've never seen that formation in the mobile version. And I think it's missing. I mean, if I'm, as far as putting squads together um, for outdoor, for actual, like, U18, U19, um, we always base our uh, initial squad at the beginning of the season off of 4 3 um, a standard 4 3 with a center defensive mid, a center attacking mid, and a center mid. And that trans transitional triangle in the middle, um, the center defensive mid can push out, become a center mid, become an attacking mid, depends on what you're doing. If you teach that at the youth level, even at the like very high youth level, like the national ranked level for 
the 433, it translates into college. That's what we do. So I can't see, I don't understand why they don't have the traditional 433 based off of the number system in this game. It drives me nuts, pisses me off. But I'll, so I'll, I'm okay with a 433 attacking. 433, false nine. Awesome, Virgil Van Dyke went out him. See, I would almost run a 433 with a false nine and put uh, center. I have the team of the year, um, Firmino, up. I have him at center attacking mid because I think he's a false nine. He's a false nine. That's that's his position on the field. I understand that they, you know, when the, the matches start, they throw him in and they say he's a striker. Firmino's not a striker. He's not a striker. He's a, he's a false nine. God suplex. Want a rematch? Yes, I'll play you again. What's your opinion on a 4-1-2-1-2? If, you, if you're running a wide 4-1-2-1-2 with outside mids, it's fine. Uh, center attacking mid become pushes up becomes your center forward. I'm okay with that. Um, in the game though, it, it gives me problems. Now I, since I'm talking, since I'm talking real world football, uh, the formation that just kills me outside is a four two four, and I've only ever played against it twice, and it was last season. Uh, no wait. Yeah, not this last fall, but back in like uh, February, March, our national U19 team played against another team, and they ran a 4-2-4, and they ran it so well, and it seemed like no matter what happened, uh, the we were always outnumbered. We went in with a standard 4-3-3. Uh, that we transitioned into an attacking 4-3-3 with two center attacking mids and one center mid. And they ran a 4-2-4 against us. I can't remember who it was. It was a uh, it's a team out of Illinois. And their team, those wings and their outside backs transitioned into center every time. So when we would send downfield, we would go on the attack uh, we're attacking against a 4-2-4. Their top line of four players had six on the attack every time with their outside backs pressed into midfield and supporting it. And then when they would lose the ball and we would press into their defensive half, those outside backs would drop back, their center mids would shift, their wings would come back, and it was eight on defense every time, constantly, every few seconds. Hardest game I've ever had to play. Now, I can't get that 424 to translate into this game. What am I doing? I want to see if that Christie sold before we play a match. He sold. No, wait, that was the other one. Let's see if we can get what the value is on it right now. He dropped. We missed the window. All right, we'll sell that one at 372. So we got up to like 535, 575. We'll see if we can get that other one to sell. Okay, who do we got? God Suplex will play. We'll do that one first. Hold on sending me any match requests for a second. I'll play these three out. Let me play these three before you send any more. We'll play four more matches. And then I'm going to call it a night. Because I'm going to need another one after this. This literally tastes like cow piss. If you have the opportunity to buy German beer, skip this one. Whatever the hell it is. It's bad. It's not good. It's not good at all. Phew. What about Zidane? Um... I don't play, I don't use icons at all. I don't use them. People complain about uh, cross spamming, which to me is troubling. I understand that people don't like when you've got crosses coming in um, from the corner. But in reality, you can shut down cross spamming by shifting to your center back 
and just cutting the blast out. So I don't see any problem with cross spamming. It doesn't bother me at all because it, it usually doesn't. I don't lose matches because of it. Just use it on as XP. Oh, I would love to. I think I may. Eventually, I think I will. But I want to get a couple more. I, I, I will say I did put some coins into... Uh, I did put some coins into Henri when I was playing the Zidane campaign. But he didn't he didn't do anything for me. Don't run behind the ball. Yeah, I get it, the one trick pony. But when you when someone keeps coming in and they they spam you with crosses like this. If you see the cross coming in, shift to your, your tallest, strongest center back and just shut down the cross. Stay goal side of him. To me, I have more trouble with players that I find as unrealistic in their abilities on the field like prime icons. To me, that aggravates me more. But it's just my opinion. I'm not going to give anybody any shit for having them in their field. I may give you shit if you're beating the hell out of me. But uh, I think the biggest. But then again, I mean, as much as I can complain about that, as much as I can complain about um, Prime Icons, uh, I have two ultimates in my squad. And if my complaint has more to do with them being somebody that should be nerfed because they're unrealistic, then I shouldn't have ultimates in my squad and I have ultimates. So there's a little bit of hypocrisy there and I'm, I'm, uh, intelligent enough to admit it. Plus I know my, uh, abilities when it comes to head to head and it's definitely not my favorite part of the game. It's tough. When you shift, you leave a bunch of open space behind. Are you talking about uh, when you're trying to shut down? I don't mean to shift. I mean, s suggest select a different player on the cross. And then sleep suddenly hit me. I'm off to sleep. Good to see you live again. Twitch game going strong. Have a good stream. Thanks, FIFA. And um, Ruben, we need to replay. If for any reason... Um, it's just so I can, uh, I, I, in fact, I, I, it's quite possible that you beat me bad enough that I may be impotent now. I haven't tried it yet, but there's a distinct possibility that, um, you owe me a, a case of Viagra from the six to nothing beating. Just saying. Is elites cheap enough to be considered XP or is gold and silver better? Right now, I, I think I would stick with. Uh, um, instead of elites, I would stick with masters for XP. Did I just give up a goal? I gave up a goal. Uh oh, I need to focus. Um, I would stick with masters. I mean, masters are getting 315,000 XP, I think that's what it is, and you can. Usually, if you do enough refreshing and you pay attention and you grab them, you can grab Masters for 700,000 coins, which is just about 2 to 1. Um, you can buy Elites in that 2 to 1 range, uh, but you're getting the best coins for your money out of um, Silvers and Golds. Golds mostly. I think Golds is the best. Night, guys. All right. 7 million worth Lunar New Year Elite. Should I save them or use his XP or Team of the Year Messi? I'm making them 100. I would hold them. Personally. I wouldn't get rid of them this quick. What tips should I use so the bot buys my cards faster? List them cheaper? 
I mean, the bot only buys on a specific time frame. Uh, and they buy the cheapest first. Can I sell? Christy? It was a good match, by the way. Christy sold. All right. Friend requests. We're accepting. Matches. Oh wait, oh wait, I want to sell Christy. God damn, I am all over the board tonight. Did I sell, did I sell all the Christies? I guess I, I guess I did. Jesus, it's Jesus, only it's 9, 9, 47, 9 47, and I'm already, I'm already kind of off my locker. Oh, all that's, all that's, that's what I was going to do. I'm going to throw, row, Ronaldo, Ronaldo in. in. We'll see what he can do. Can do. We'll play this in one more. And then I'm going to call it a night. Is that better? I can't tell if it's the mic or the cable. And it happens like four or five times during a stream. Jesus. Okay, Andabatic, did you send me a uh, friend request so I can put you on my list? I will say that I'm very happy with Ultimate Allison. So far, well, fuck me. Bland stream. All right, I think I, I accepted that one. Damn. If you sent her a friend request, I should have accepted it. I think I gave everybody. I accepted everyone that came through. Okay. Thank God you hit the wrong button. See, what's funny is, is I've played Ruben before. And it wasn't that bad. It wasn't six to nothing. But that six to nothing match yesterday, I was sober. Like that was bad. Bad. You invested fifteen million on Brandt. It's the that card. When they're down like that, when they're up in the red envelopes. That's when you want to want to buy them. I just don't have the coins to invest in. See, I love Milner, but when he's at left back and you've got Wynaldum making the run to fill him up, huh? that's bad. Need to get a goal back. Damn. No foul. There was no foul there. We didn't see anything. Okay, I'm at the half. I need to pay attention. Yeah, lanterns in the Lucky Coin Shop. That's where I've spent all my gems.
get manhandled tonight. This is not good. Should I buy Brandt at 800k for investing? I would. If I had the 800k to buy, I definitely would. Fifty-two lantern packs. That's a lot. Uh-oh. Yeah, I gave that one up. That team of the year, Ronaldo. That was the uh, 12th man, right? That was good. Keep Hazard. Hmm. Depends on the way you play. Holy crap, I just got freight trained. Oh, so that's what I was going to say. Um, I haven't watched the Liverpool game today, and the reason being... Damn, I can't even get in to take a shot. Defense is strong on this squad. I can't even get a skill move in. Okay, can I win a corner to at least get one back? Damn. All right. So, okay, here's the deal. Small hand, Salah scored two. Ooh, don't tell me anymore. So, here's what happened. Um, this is Super Bowl weekend here. I'm in America. Uh, everybody has Super Bowl parties. I fucking hate American football with a passion. We have never watched the Super Bowl. I don't even know who's in the Super Bowl. So, this weekend, my family has a tradition. We have a... European football party. So we uh, we record um, whatever match that weekend that we really want to watch. And then we have a Super Bowl party where we watch real football at the same time everybody else is watching whatever stupid-ass football game is going. Then what we do is we'll eat, we'll do everything, and then we record the, the Super Bowl – and then we play that shit back, fast forward through everything just to watch the commercials. That way when the kids go to school the next day um, and everybody asks them, did you watch a Super Bowl? They can say, fuck you, didn't watch Super Bowl. I watched Liverpool play. and But I did watch all the commercials and I know the final score. So that's what we do. So no, the game is recorded, but I'm not watching it. I will watch it tomorrow. All right, good night, God Suplex. Okay, I said I was going to play a couple more. I had two more matches, and I think that's my limit. Just wanted to see if any of those Christie's sold. I think they both sold. Friend request accepted. Okay. I'm going to play one more. This is my last one. Okay, we'll play two more. Adrian gets the last head-to-head -head match. If it's still there when this one times out. Okay, that's it. Don't send me any more requests. That's all I'm playing. Okay, what beer are we talking about? Because that's something I missed. Uh, i scroll back through the chat here. Belgian Trappist. Okay, so that I have not tried. Belgian Trappist. Interesting. Oh, did I get a free kick? Take the tip. We'll look if this 62 million coin Ultimate Van Dyke can finish something. Because he hasn't done shit for me tonight. Okay, at least he got another corner out of it.
Damn. Is that my tip? My tip with uh, bicycle. So Belgian Trappist. That's what I'm looking for. The next time. See, in here in uh, Cincinnati where I work. I work in Cincinnati. We have this restaurant. Um, or it's not a restaurant. It's a giant grocery store called Jungle Gyms. And they have a liquor store with a brewery that is huge. Huge. Um, and they'll have it if they have it. So is it uh, Belgian Trappist? Okay. So yeah, I basically watch Liverpool game on Super Bowl. That's it. We do it every year. So the game is recorded right now, and I don't know the score. I don't know what happened. That's where I'm at. Beer's out. So that means one more match. Adrian gets the last match, and then we're calling it a night. Thanks to everybody who stopped in tonight and uh, subscribed or followed. If you follow along, you'll get notifications when we do these like uh, last-minute streams. So make sure you follow along. Back post. Nope. Damn. Foul him. Foul him. Foul him. I didn't want to do it in the box. <sighs> Are you going to go right? You're going to go left. Going to go right? Going to go left. Straight up the middle. Damn it. Thanks. Uh, one season wonder one. Good stream. Thanks. Uh, friends list is full. Possible. Yeah. Finn, he sleeps. With a lunar logo. Yeah, I, I didn't start this match with the intention of uh, playing any head-to-head, -head, so I didn't clear out the the friends box. Thanks, uh, soccer and FIFA Beast Jesse. I appreciate that. Should I sell my 96 Ronaldo right now or wait for the event to end? Definitely wait. Value will go up when he becomes an extinct card. Damn. Who's in the goal? Is it Courtois? Is that why none of these aerial shots are going in? Oh, no. Milner's my last guy back. That isn't going to work. Can I find you through? Nope. Okay, I hate to admit this, and this may be a little bit too TMI, but there is a distinct possibility that if, as soon as this one match ends, I am not going to play that match against Adrian. And it's only because I really got to piss. Just a minute. Damn. Is it a foul? Damn. Not mine. Okay. Yeah, Courtois. That makes sense. I'll take the tie, though. This is a tough team to play. Okay. As soon as this one's over, I got to end it. 
I hope you show up more often. That'd be a good thing. Okay, it was a good match, and I hate to end it right here, but I have to pee. Seriously, and as bad as that is, this was a big bottle, and this was not my first. All right. Thanks a lot for hanging out tonight. Uh, if there's anybody else got one on and you want to go hang it out, I haven't seen to see if there's anyone we can go raid. We're going to try to start doing that. Uh, thanks for popping in tonight. Had a lot of fun. Thanks for hanging out with me. And as soon as I am streaming again, if you followed along, you'll get a notification. But I doubt, doubt I'll do it tomorrow. Um, but we'll do it again this week. Uh, thanks a lot. And uh, as long as you keep watching, I'll keep making videos. Thanks for watching. Maybe check out one of these other videos next. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Visit my site, finallyhesleeps.com, for daily posts about FIFA Mobile and other various brain vomit. Plus, if you get really bored, you can find merchandise and my latest comedy album, Life Before the Internet, at the links below. Like, down at the bottom, those links. <laughs> <laughs>